And welcome back. This is Kotel for another War Rights stream. It is Sunday. I hope you all had a good weekend, but that means it is HRE, Historical Rules Event Time. <laughs> it is server one. I had to split into two servers. Uh, it is a pry forward for map one, 171 on the server pop, 86 for the defending CSA versus 85 for the attacking union. Now let's take a look at that CSA team starting out with the arty. We have Lieutenant Colonel Tobias. With one gun from the two core, and then we have 12th VA with Captain Qual with another gun. Let's take a look at that infantry team. Starting out here, we got two core, six LA led by uh, Zeo Panama. Uh, then we've got push. Major Durandil leading the other element of two core. We've got 8th Georgia here under <laughs> Colonel Darth. We've got the HD who loves gold. Under Major Watermelon. Then we've got DB joined by JB. DB under the command of Lieutenant on the DCMO. Captain Schumacher leading the JB. Then we have 12th VA under Captain Flores. And that rounds out the CSA team. They will be facing the Union team, starting out with their cannons. They have Captain Potato leading the 13th GA cannon. Then Private Mando with two guns from the NYV 6 New York. Next up, he likes problems, and he is Captain Nathor. He doesn't like problems, but he's leading the Ninth Corps on the Union team for the infantry side. He is joined by the GC, Colonel Vibach, as well as 4th New Jersey under Captain Victor. Lieutenant Souther leading the 88th New York, 20th Georgia under Major Canada, and 13th Georgia under Lieutenant Dvorak. I'm assuming that's how I say it. I'm probably screwed it up as I always do, but that's okay. We got Sergeant Patterson leading the 6th New York, the tip of the spear. And we are live at 40. As per the event rules, there is no sprinting. There are no bayonets until the 30-minute mark. Now, if you are curious, this game is called War of Rights. And it is available on Steam for 30 US dollars today. You can purchase if you uh, see it and you're like, man, this looks pretty cool. It is a first person shooter game. Each of these people are individuals. And you can join in the fun. This event, as said earlier, is the historical rules event. It plays every Sunday at 7 p.m. GMT. If you and they have plenty of room, if you're looking to join up, like I said, there's two servers. I'm only checking one server. They got a whole other full server out there, so we've got plenty of space for you if you want to join. If your unit uh, wants to get in on this action now, if you're a new player, and you're like, what is this? This is an event, a private event. Um, you have to be in one of these units to join. Um, you have to be in a participating unit. So if you are looking and you're like, man, this looks pretty cool and you want to join a regiment, uh, either you're new or veteran, I have links in the description to all of these units. Um, so you can join up. Uh, just join in the Discord and see what you got to do to join up, see uh, how they act, see how they operate down here, and check their schedule, see if it works for you. But, yeah, if uh, Sundays is free and you want to join at this event uh, and you want to, check out one of these units. Join up. And last and least... Um, if you like uh, what you're seeing here and you want to see more, you know, if you want to help me out a bit, I always appreciate it. You know, the likes, subscribes, comments, shares, all those fun things to get those algorithms to help push the uh, game. We are now live. They can't load until 42, so now they're going to start getting their guns loaded. They do that so they can't just pop out and hit those guys right away. Let's see what Private Mando does here as those guns go out. But, yeah, anything to help the channel out, I do very much appreciate. And, um... Let me know how I'm doing, too, what you guys would like to see more of, what kind of videos you'd like to see more, you know, ways for me to improve, either technically or how I commentate. Always looking at ways to improve. And in the words of Mr. Jehovah, who is another streamer, and the reason I got into this, great counter-battery shot off there from Private Mando. We all grow together. That's whether you like to play publics, whether you play private events, do both. Just watch whatever you want to do. Help the uh, community grow. And we've got an initial movement here. I bet this is 8th Georgia. Yes, it is. I've seen them do this in the past here. And Major Cat, oh, Colonel Darth, I'm not sure who's in command. I think Colonel Darth actually might be in command. Oh, but they're going to face some opposition. Who's coming up here? Here comes Canada from the 20th. We have Georgia on Georgia violence here. A nice volley from the 8th Georgia, but they got more trouble. Wait a second, here comes 13 Georgia. We've got Georgia on Georgia on Georgia. 
I can't say Taking that state right that many right times. Right right and and in fact, the eight Georgia has to pull out after facing two of its buddies from other Georgia elements here. Now, if you're wondering, why the hell is a Georgia unit on the CSA team and the Union team? Well, the reason for that is they have to balance the teams. And that's part of the organization here that goes into these events is they uh, try to have a set teams that are even. Um, you have the most fun and the most uh, yourselves, conducive element you. to make hey. the events as interesting hey. as possible. Hey. Here we got a volley coming from Captain Flores. Let's check it out. Steady. Fire. Oh, I saw several flags go down. Looks like a good volley there from the 12th VA. Now let's see JB doing some skirmishing on these rocks in the center. Let's zoom out so you all can get a pretty good picture of how the map is developing right now. So it looks like pretty much a center defense by the CSA along the point of contention, which is right there. With some screening elements out this way, the Union is split in half, about half over here and half over here. They are currently splitting the field. We'll see how this changes the battlefield up here. Now we... S here we've got the 88th, Lieutenant Souther, setting up a little bit further back. Now let's check back up. Let's check out that CSA, Artie. Let's see what they can do in response to what the Union has done to them. See, the Union is still putting in cannon shots over here. Who is this? So, two corps has decided to move their gun over here to get better shots over there. Let's see if I can see what Tobias has in mind. Oh, he's still moving up here, so I'll go check back at uh, 12 VA's gun. So for a pretty static battlefield, but keep in mind, there's no sprinting and there's no bayonet, so it's very hard to attack, especially over these open fields. So I do not blame these units for doing some long-distance shooting to begin with. As Porb's getting his gun set, let me see if I can see what this shot is. I'm going to chase it down, chase it down, chase it down. It looks like it no, fell a little sure. bit short and was not able to hit... The 4th New Fire. Jersey, but let's check out their volley. Fire, boys. Very nice, very Fire. nice. Here's 9th Corps using good concealment. Good shots, New Jersey. A little good bit of shots. cover. Behind the, uh, bush. Huzzah! Looks like the, uh, their right, commanders got them on the independent fire at the moment. Let's swing back around here. What is the NYV? Oh, actually, I haven't seen 13 Georgia. Let me see their shot here. You can see the tip of the spear right there, the NYV. All right, they're going to answer to that. We're going to move back to those cannons. We're going to counter back again. And you hear Sorry, the call. Okay. It is Potato saying it's time for some counter battery. Although he might be a little bit aimed off a little bit. I'll check back on those guys in a little bit. Let's check out 13 Georgia here as they have moved up alongside Lieutenant Southern and the 88th. Trying to outflank the CSA and push them back a little bit. And they are putting a lot of pressure here on the HD. And in fact, the HD is going to move out slightly. Here is the Nisimo with the DB. And as you can hear, there are different languages in this game. So if you're speaking a specific language and you're looking for a unit that uh, caters to that, you will find many in this community that support it. We've got French, we've got German, we've got Russian, we got uh, Czech, we've got Spanish, we've got Swede, we've got Danish, we've got Dutch. All kinds of languages here. There's actually even Asian events. There's a couple Chinese regiments. So not in this event, but uh, there's plenty of different regiments if you are not from the United States. we got English owned. We've got American. All kinds of stuff. Here we got two corn, a bit of a skirmish line out here. Yeah, some nice shots from two are getting some of the guys in the back here, but we have a forward movement. Who is this? 20th Georgia. Here comes. They can try to catch, I believe, Fire. HD. Let's see. A uh, couple nice bodies fell down. They were able to hit yeah, HD from the side cover. here. Let's see what Watermelon is going to do in response. On the 33 minutes right now, about even on tickets. I see the Union is slightly above. Who rotated out here? 12th VA, I like this position, trying to box in the unit a little bit here from this rock. We'll see if they can keep the 4th uh, New Jersey and 9th Corps bottled up. 
Incredibly, incredibly flying. And... Fire! So I'm drawing a line towards their position. That's where they are. Ooh. Oh, you see that already coming in, but that rock... Stand up! I'm okay! Didn't really kill too many. That rock was able to save him. That's what hard cover does save. Fire, whole fire. This time it killed a couple over there. Oh, and you can see that firing coming in. I believe the is starting to have some more effects on the ninth core. Let's rotate back out here and check out the tip of the spear. Six New York. Take it a tip of the spear. I'm one day I'm gonna get it right. So you got targets? Yeah, north. All north is CSA. Parker, put your tags on. What? It's his birthday. Leave him alone. He just got off vacation. You get off a holiday, as they say. Both of the people next to me are dead. Uh, Show up. Well, that's Did it. Did hit a thing. Break loads to the right, double quick. Mods. And Super Patterson is not hanging out there. He is going to get out of there. Oh, looks like we had some blood spots over here. Oh, I missed this cannon shot. Um, although it looks like it was a pretty good uh, counter battery, but the uh, 12th VA was slightly off of it. Um, let's see if I can see another shot here. They're getting loaded. I don't think I've seen 13 Georgia do a shot yet. Let me see if I can get down here in time. Let's see how Potato does. And looking at the overall battle here, still pretty static. No change. I'm not really expecting any major moves until sprinting and bayonets go live, though. Looks like Potato's looking at doing some counter battery. Oh, and Kenner is crossing in front of the cannon. Never, never cross in front of the guns, gentlemen. Never do it. He, I think he knows. He's like, oh, we got to get out of the way. Uh, yeah, hold the the he knows it. He's like, oh, I, I got it. I know. I screwed up. It's fine, though. <laughs> oh, that was a nice little arty shot. Now that uh, is it. close to spawn. I think Potato's got to be careful about this. Uh, right. If he's shooting uh, at the guys off of it, it's fine. Watch my fire effect. You can't shoot at spawn. I, uh, does this count as spawn? I don't know. Uh, that's a dangerous shot. Don't, I, you, Potato. I don't know about that, brother. I know what you were aiming at because these guys are shooting, but that is it might be legal. I know Zeo Panama, he's a pain in the ass to deal with, man. I hear you. You, Corey, are shooting at you. We are 30 seconds to go to Bayonets here. And here we got 8th Georgia in a very nice, very good looking here skirmish line. Out in the open, hopefully drawing some fire. And in fact, as we can see, let's zoom out here as we're about to go to Bayonets. The Union has shifted over and they're now waiting their forces over here i believe perhaps the strategy was to string out the csa along this right side and then move over here too fast for them to react and then collapse on this flank here we'll see if that is the strategy if that works but this union mass here we are now live at bayonets and we are live at sprinting and we will see if that is the union strategy and if that strategy works the first unit they'll come across Just is the 12th va in cap flourish Hold, 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 recover. recover. And he is holding his shot because he doesn't have a good one. There's no point in shooting at something if you can't see it. Two core here, and Durandil is right behind him. And we can see the Union is on the move over here. Who is in the front? It is the tip of the spear. It is Patterson. And open over. And now you might say, why, why? Where is he going here? Oh, a couple shots went over. You know, you might be like, wow, why come over here? Well, this is a little bit of concealment. Oh, who cares about a bush? Drop you know, a bush could cause you to miss a little bit. Drop it slightly, uh, you know, obstructs the view. Any little advantage you can get, take. But here we go. Let's see if Flora is here. We can defeat the tip of the spear. Shoot first, shoot first. And it is the cab that is going forward. The NYB does have the cab. They have pistol, they have carbines. But they have been melted here by very deliberate, very disciplined fire from the 12th VA. And in fact, here comes two core to aid them. And this is going to be very hard for, without those pistols in this fight now, with them already eliminated, it's going to be very hard for the Union to punch through this, even with all their forces here. And in fact, 
Wait a second, here comes JB as well. I think the Union might have just lost their opportunity now. Well, let's see who is left for the Union. What are they going to do? Go, 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 go. Charge him out. Charge, charge. And you hear Uncle Dragon says go. He says charge. He knows this is a killing field. You do not want to stay in it. We'll see if they can get enough troops here to get through. And not all the Union has gone in, though. You can see, oh, Patterson came back in. That's why he came back in. That's not Patterson. He responded. In. Yeah, we got V-Bar coming in with his pistol. The key is to knock out these flags. That has to be the key. As Uncle Dragon had his uh, monsters, as you can hear. And the Union has captured the rocks, but here comes a counterattack. Who is this? It is the Nisimo and the second Mississippi. They are going in to try to stabilize the situation. Oh, but a couple CSA flags are now in the dirt. Oh, this is dangerous now. Can they get out of there? HD trying to get their flag out. And we do have some covering fire from the 8th Georgia here, allowing some survivors to come. But the Union has succeeded in taking this position. Well done to the Union. I didn't think you could have it, but you heard Uncle Dragon saying, go, charge, get him out, get him out. Ooh, that already coming in. I think that was, who was that? Was that two cores already? I want to say it was two cores already. Yep, that was Tobias giving a little bit of answer. Ooh, look at that. Nice little uh, counter battery there. Oh, but we got a raid here. Zeal Panama, they left him out in the open, and he is going to raid the Artie for some nice tickets and to disrupt their operations back here. So the Union did mass, but P uh, Panama saw an opportunity, and he has taken it. And not only will this disrupt the Artie, but this will give them some nice Adeline tickets to farm on the Union team. We did it, Parker. We did it, Parker. We did it, Parker. Move. And Mando has held it, but uh, it has disrupted their already. Oh, here oh, comes some counter battery coming in. I believe that's 12 VA's yeah, cannon right there. And we've got a return shot that I believe was canister, but it doesn't look like it did too much damage. Zeo Panama is still a threat down here, but let's rotate back out to the other side of the battlefield where we have had one Union regiment so here. And the Sergeant Patterson has gotten the NYV out here, dodging an already shot, yep. trying to get a different fire angle as the Union is massing on this rock. I honestly recommend the Union to push up right now. The reason I say this is the CSA is missing their flags. You can outshoot them right now, especially with the carbines. With your cab, you could just march up on them, I believe, and kind of squeeze them off of this position. Specifically, I would try to seize this ground right over here. That's just under this hill. And really squeeze out the CSA and be able to shoot them on top of that hill. That's where I think this Union should try to move to. But uh, so far, they're being a little bit more static than I think they need to be. Uh, but we have another maneuver over here. Who is this? Ninth Corps, Maythor, is heading out here. And he might try to sneak up on Flores here, who's trying to get a different angle on the Union. Let's see if Ninth Corps can ambush the 12th BA here. Focus on the rocks, boy, focus on the rocks. Free from care and sorrow. We want to knock out them rocks. We want to knock out them rocks. Focus rocks. Don't disappoint me, mate. I'm waiting on you. You're perfectly set up for it. No, 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 no. Fourth, fourth. Hold, please. Oh, it's too late. Flores has already moved off. The opportunity is gone. Can you use the mic? Twenty-four minutes remaining. Uh, CSA remains slightly ahead on tickets, but the Union has captured the rights, the uh, north side of the field, this side of the field, and this uh, might. Uh, we'll see if the uh, this positioning here can lead to a uh, better conclusion here for the Union. A lot of use of skirmish lines out here, as we can see. Let's check back in on the Artie here. Well, they're 
Where are they? Oh, here they are. Let's see if Qual can uh, land a shot. For that Union element that's all the way out there. See him. Uh, a little bit short. And Colonel Vibar and the GC remain standing, tall and proud. 23 minutes remaining. CSA doing a fair job right now, I'd say. I'd say right now the CSA, I think, is, might take this map. We'll see. Um, slight advantage for the Union as well on the uh, number of troops they got. Uh, I think the problem is the Union had an advantage with those flags down, but now, as you see, they have despawned, so they will respawn with the CSA. And now the CSA will be much better off being able to hold off in a gunfight. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, but now we got a forward attack here. Enemy north, enemy coming. Who is this? It is Canada. Let's see what he's thinking. Who's he going to engage? Not sure who he was engaging there. It looks like uh, they were trying to split in their views. But now they're going to attract a lot of firepower. And here, Loris is going to move out. Who is this over here? Here is HD, along with elements of two core. Kind of holding down this center position. Baron. Need to reload, okay? Oh. Yeah, we got Mr. Targray, probably man with more hours than anybody else in this game. Leading the Shenandoah regulars. I think there's only two of them, so they kind of just murk in this game, but... Oh, here comes Major Ked. Is he thinking about an arty raid? Is he going to do what Zeo Panama did? I'll keep an eye on it. See if I catch you when it happens. Meaning, speaking of, why don't I go back to the Union already, see if I can see their next uh, shot okay, here. I think the problem for the uh, Union already on this map is they kind of never, once this fight happens over here, they don't bring the cannons up enough, and they kind of get sucked into fighting this counter-battery fight that doesn't really affect as much. And as we can see, the Union is starting to fall well behind on tickets. And you can see here's 8 Georgia coming up with a nice little raid. Fire. Let's see if and no casualties, unfortunately. Cancel coming up. Let's check out this counter battery shot from the six New York. That one was pretty good. Knocked these guys on their ass. Not a bad little thing. But getting back down to the line, infantry action. Let's see here what we got. We got two core over here. Is somebody up top here? Another element of two core, kind of just doing a little pomp volley. And we've got a long skirmish line here by the NYV. I think the uh, Union needs to get a little bit more aggressive on their attacks right now. They've taken this ground. Now what are you going to do with it? Oh, we got somebody getting in, punching the fight here. Viba has come up here, but he is facing a lot of fire, and he doesn't have a flag with him. While the other team does, you're not going to be able to outshoot an enemy team with a flag, especially if they outnumber you. And Viba is going to try to get his men out of there. What few were left? You got some covering fire coming down here from 9th Corps and 13th Georgia, along with 4th New Jersey. A little bit of fire. If you can't see it, if you can't see it, go to the right. Thank you, Sergeant Fire. Kind of hard to cover these guys because of the tree. Do my best. I think right here might be an okay right. Oh, what do we got here? What's happening? We got an attack. Tip of the spear went in. Just as I was talking bad about them, they heard it. They heard it in the future. JB going to try to go in, but oh, Canada's in there as well. Oh, but here comes Tukor and O'Hara with a counter charge. We'll see if they can beat them. These pistols are tough to beat, though, as you can see. And who's coming up now? Here comes Souther. Woo, 
Oh, I just killed a shit ton of them. Oh, we still have Canada here. Oh, look at Canada here. Into the side of the 12th VA, but the 12th VA is going to kind of charge him. Now here, what about the center element? If they go in here, this might be a good opportunity to take this whole position. But even without it, here we go. We still have 88th holding strong here. Okay. And the 6th right, is going to be able to come back here and get their men back. So a nice attack there by the Union. And look at those tickets now. It's not even, but it's a lot closer than it, what it was. We'll see what the CSA does in response. You know, he's still got 8th Georgia out here harassing the Artie, getting some nice little kills, trying to prevent them from getting too many shots coming in. You saw that canister flew over the heads of some, took one of the heads with him. All right, let's see who we got here. Let's see what two core does. Can they help stabilize this front? And you can also see the Union has pulled back after that raid here. They were happy with what they did, and they're going to fall back a little bit. All right, let's check out this shot. Let's make it. Let's make it in time. Oh, a little short. A little short. A little bit longer on that fuse time. Here we got uh, 13 Georgia Dvor yet. Dvorak. That one's hit. That one's Excuse me. Let's come up a little bit more. Seventeen minutes remaining. Neither team yet on taking losses. I'd say it's about an even fight right now. It could go either way. Oh, well, what do we have over here? HD coming up. Let's see what they can do. They got hit hard by, who is this, 88th? Yep. Oh, no, that was 6th. And they are going to try to shift and try to target another element here. Concentration of fire is key. You want to focus your fire as a team on one unit, knock them down, knock out their flag, and then move on to the next unit. It is very hard if you both have flags to actually trip down an enemy now. Now, the big benefit for the CSA is they've got four flags. The Union only has three. So there is a uh, – it is much easier for the CSA to reconstitute their forces in the Union. Now, the advantage for the Union is that CAV, you know, those pistols and the carbines, but you got to kind of use them as a shock force to overcome the attrition. Hey, it's 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 Victor's birthday, everybody! It's server announcement. Make sure you say um, happy birthday to Victor in the comments. And the Union is at taking losses. They are ahead of the CSA. Here we got Weber trying to get a little bit of flanking fire. And it looks like, who is this? Is this CEO Panama coming up to aid? Yes, it is. Let's, uh, let's see here. Hey, George will have some aid. They might be able to uh, knock out this Artie again. Guys, they're coming to get that shot off, quick. They're in the bush, there's like six. Oh, they're charging, they're charging. And we have hit taken losses on both sides, but here comes the charge. Oh, man, no kill off. And this will be some good tickets here for the CSA. It was 10 right there. And that cannon went off in that guy's face. And he got up. Who was that? That was that was that was still on holiday. That was. Did I just see Parker take a cannonball to the face and then get back up? I think I did. Let me know if I didn't. But that's what I think I saw. Laura is here trying to move his men up to 12th VA to get into the flank here of this Union element. 14 minutes remaining, about even on tickets. Slight advantage for the CSA. But the Union's in a very strong position right now to take point. Quick time, forward. 
Argos, t'es volontaire. Tu vas aller voir notre artillerie. Tu vas voir notre artillerie. Tu leur dis de te tirer à droite. À droite. Leur cri est à l'ouest. La direction ouest. Center, center, center. Right here is good. Uh, let's check back in on the yardy over here. We got DB as kind of this overwatch position. I kind of like that. Um, being nice and reactive. Did I just miss this cannon going off? Bloody hell. Alright, can I make it in time for 12 VA's, VA's cannon? It's like they're thinking about doing a counter battery shot. Oh no, they're rolling it up. Right, let's check back over here. Non, pour l'instant, ce genre de tueur, non, ça ira pas. On va l'avancer. Twelve minutes thirty remaining. Union starting to, the clock is starting to get low on the Union here. Again, I think they need to get a little bit more aggressive here, but the CSA has been stubborn on that reverse slope here, and they have been very disciplined. And you've also had a good job here of this CSA elements over here, the uh, CO Panama and uh, Major Cat element, that have been keeping the Union already kind of on its toes and not letting them concentrate fire. So, good teamwork here so far by the CSA team, good discipline. But uh, the Union made a really good concentrated charge, and they still have a very good piece of terrain to attack off from, so... We will see. Let's check out this shot from the two core. Oh, sailing just over, unfortunately. Okay, we're getting crunched here. Taking over. They are indeed. Now they are getting outflanked here. Somebody went in for a charge, though. Who was this? 20th Georgia went in for a charge. Oh, they need additional support, though. Maybe they don't. Actually, never mind. 20th Georgia can do it by itself. Did that work go well or no? Focus by yourself. Big line south. And they are going to try to take some pressure off of the 9th Corps in 4th New Jersey over here. And they are indeed taking the pressure off, but they're getting hit. Now here's the big heavy hitter unit with the Cav and the NYV as they're getting their men back in. And 20th Georgia is going to get off point before they cap. But that little maneuver by 20th has allowed now the 9th Corps to re you know, face this element over here from the 12th VA. But, oh, look at this. Here comes Zio Panama has moved over to try to further out this flank. We'll see if he can uh, squeeze him a little bit more. Union falling back behind on tickets again. With some nice maneuvers here by the CSA. Although the Union is doing counterattacks of its own, so we'll see how it all pans out in the end. I would honestly say these units back here need to move up a little bit more. Um, I think 13 Georgia might move up. A little bit, um, although they're getting nice volleys off, but do you want to make sure you get enough kills to really restrain that unit over there. And in fact, here we got Patterson moving back up. We've got a nice fist developing here. And in they go. They're going to try to cut off 2-Core and 12 VA. We'll see if they can hold them. Last time they had really good fire. They did a lot of damage to the Union. We'll see if they can do it again. Make him regret it, boys. Shoot so far, shoot. yes, the Make Union is not having a concentrated charge here. Shoot that commander. Thank you. Shoot that commander. Here comes the tip of the spear. The spear. The Fuck me. Brace now. Brace. Brace. Counter charge. Counter charge. Brace. Counter charge. Brace. Brace now. Counter charge. Counter charge. Counter charge. Now with the cab in the fight, though, I think that's it. You can see how deadly those pistols are. And the Union has won that charge, but there's another charge on top of this hill. We'll see if they can hold over here. 13th Georgia has moved up very smartly. Now if this Union element comes in here, they might be able to take it. Oh, you need to kill that officer. He's going to kill you with that pistol, hit him himself. Oh, God. There's an officer behind the rock. Here we go. Durin Dills still hanging out on his rocks. 
He said, these are my rocks. You can't have them. And the Union is now on breaking. CSA close to taking losses. And you still have 8th Georgia over here doing harassing fire here. Yes. And combined oh, with the counter battery. Uh, looks like they hit them, but again, I... I uh, I'll be honest with you guys. You, you, they're, doing, they're, they're, they're playing with your minds here. And uh, your minds are now scattered all over the ground here. Thanks to 12th VA. Alright, 13th, we're going back down. One more attack by the Union should put the CSA into breaking. And the question is, can they actually take the hill position now? Another already shot coming in. Looks like it was a pretty good one. Might have been falling a little bit short. I didn't have a great view of it coming in from the, uh, I believe that was the uh, two core one. Hey, boys. We check back on the Union already, see what we can see. Where do they think it's shooting? Uh, they're doing, looks like a counter battery shot. Um. I'm not sure what they were targeting there on that one. You can see the cab here is chasing off that initial. Form up, form up line. What are we, uh, militia? Form up a line. Nice way. Look at the way. Infantry on top. Infantry on top. You can see this disciplined fire, though, has been having great effects. The question is, can it be enough? Got another attack developing. Who's coming down this road here? It is Southern in the 88th. Brace right, brace right, brace right. Oh, but they saw him here. Who came up? It was Denisimo came up here and has laid into the 88th. There goes their flag. That is trouble. We've got another flanking attack here by Patterson. The other half of the NYV. He's going to face off against Watermelon here. Can he hold strong? Or can they smash the watermelon? Both sides now on breaking, 6.30 remaining. Union halfway though to final push now. The Union is not pushing in. They have decided to um, fire for a bit, but who is this out here? Tucor has decided to maneuver behind the Union line. It's gonna get off some nice sniping on them. They might not even notice this for quite a bit. A nice little sneak maneuver here by Tucor. And Patterson's going to move out to try to deal with them. I think you have to. But the danger is this element here might get overwhelmed. They've got Dragon to keep them motivated, though. I would say just charge these guys out. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't even shoot them. Just charge them out. So guys, no. In the fire, no, no. Look on, look on your thing, no. They're right there. Use your car bombings. Save your pistols for later. And they're going to retreat. A wise decision there by two core. Not wasting time getting into a fight. They can't win and they don't need to win anymore. They've drawn off Cav. And that will let the CSA get back down here. And again, the Union has lost a flag over here. They are not going to be able to stand up against this fire as easily against the CSA. Now it's, uh, you know, one mainline flag against four. You know, I think you got the Cav as well, but, you know, the Cav is limited. If you want to say two to four, we can. But well, this is a major problem for the Union now. Uh, right now, I think the CSA might be able to hold. And this life is over, I'll away. All right, listen up. Here's the situation. There they come, boys. They're on the top of the hill, sir. They're putting their head up. Shout out to the Got the crowd. He shot these. Ready? Ready? Mike's up. Targets you see, fire oh, will. Fire 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 will. Back, 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 back. Stay Take a knee, boys. Take a knee. Alright. The work that uh, I did. 18, Take you go. No, he's here on my right. The work's on the left. Yeah, we're fourth here. Stay in the front. Stay in the front. Ah, there's two the core again. 6LA. 
so doing good flank maneuvers, doing good skirmish work. Uh, we're moving to work. Oh! Man, look, I didn't see it. That was that cannon right there. That was 12th, LA, uh, 12th, uh, not 12th, that was uh, two course cannon right there. I didn't see it, but I saw the results of it. And the Union is very close now to last uh, final push here. CSA still with plenty of tickets left. And two core is going to retreat. Don't get into a fight, you can't win. What's the order, sir? Fire will! Cut the flag, Gillen. Cut the flag. There's two USC in this? Where's two USC at? On the left, cavalry boys. On the left, kill them cavalry. Shoot the cavalry. Shoot the white gloves. Shoot the white gloves. I thought two USC was on the other server. I didn't think I saw them here. Oh, here's the major fight. Final push. Can the Union win this? I don't know. Not against this line here. Not against four flags. On guard, Yankee. And you definitely hear. Eat and go, boys. Charge them out! Move, charge, charge! Take the flag. Come, come on, come on! We are a band of brothers and native to the soil. Fighting for the property we gained by honor. Come on, hey, give me your foreskin! Head over your foreskin! Hey, southwest, southwest, southwest. And that is a. Well, wait, here comes the final charge in. Whoever kept. No, 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 we're friendly. We're friendly. Right through, right through. Don't stop. Right through, right through, right through. Right through, right through. We are at the press T if you don't have And they almost got him to the last stand, but it's not quite soon enough. Go. CSA will have plenty of time to get their reinforcements in. And this will be it. A fun match to watch. Let's see the final push here. But uh, good disciplined fire from the CSA here. Um, there was some nice counterattacks by the Union, but um, great army shots as well on those two CSA batteries. Um, and then great distraction by the 8th Georgia and Zio Panama and his folks in the 6th LA. 6LA doing really good skirmish work all over the place. A lot of good, a lot of good work here by many units in this match. Um, it's really tough. Uh, I mean the Union had ten more soldiers here, so I can't, I can't put it down to that. There we go. All right, one match down, one more to go.